holy moly, far out. I just had the most scariest drone moment of my life. Come on, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was good. Thank you. Your French toast, though, like. That's the most giant thing. <laughs> I kind of wish. I kind of wish I got the French oh toast. That's you. I've never seen a French toast that big. All right, let's eat. Okay. Uh, how much? Welcome back everyone to another beautiful day here in Bali. So today I am exploring a few more waterfalls, temples, pretty much whatever I find along the way. <laughs> so I'm, I'm up around northwest of Bali. Uh, so this was this spot's like an hour drive from Changu. And I even think if you leave from Ubud, it's pretty much an hour drive as well. So I'm heading down to a waterfall right now called Leaky Leaky Waterfall. I heard, I found this one on YouTube and they said it was kind of secret, but I don't think it's secret because there's a lot of bikes up top. <laughs> and this one was 30,000 to get into, so as usual, I don't think anything is gonna be free today. But let's go check out the beautiful waterfall. Woo! Holy papaya, look at this thing. That is huge. That is the biggest papaya I have ever seen. <laughs> If you guys don't know what a papaya is, it is that, and it is very popular in Bali, and it is delicious. I always order papaya drinks, it is the best drink ever. If you're in Bali, get a papaya drink, or just get a papaya fruit salad, and you won't regret it. Waterfalls always have to be so far down. <laughs> so hard hiking up on a real hot day like this. All right, so it was a right waterfall, but I wouldn't say it was the best one. And I feel like that was one of the most expensive ones I've been to as well. <laughs> I wasn't there for long. I was literally there for like five, 10 minutes and then left. But I think there's one not too far from here, maybe. I don't know. We'll go see. All right, time for waterfall number two. So this one I'm heading to down now is called Nung Nung Waterfall. Um, there's a lot of waterfalls I have to pay for the entrance fee, of course, but other ones I usually just have to pay for parking fee. But this one, I had to pay for both. <laughs> so there's a 12,000 entrance. And I do not remember what it looks like, so this one will be a surprise. Oh yay, hundreds of stairs going down again. You know what that means. I am going to be sweating buckets, heading all the way back to the top. Man, these are steep too. Ah, I'm not looking forward to that one. <laughs> Jeez, it is a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> that is massive. Should I go for a swim? Should I? Should I? Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. I'll go for a swim. I forgot my towel, but I'll drip dry. <laughs> All I know is it's gonna suck already because just with my shirt off, it is absolutely freezing. <laughs> Getting the spray is so cold. Ah, Jesus. Yeah, don't got my phone in my pocket. Holy, holy. This is huge.
moly, far out. I just had the most scariest drone moment of my life. So I think like areas like this is really not good to fly a drone. I don't know what it was. I think it could have been like the waterfall mist or just because it's such a small crowded area. Um, but when I put it up, I had no control over it and it literally was just flying by itself. It was just kept flying forward by itself. Um, so I just started running after it and then <laughs> ended up freaking slipping on a rock. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got a big bruise there now. I slipped on a rock, fell straight into the water with my controller and my phone. I think my phone's pretty waterproof though, so that's all right, but I don't know how good my controller is. I really hope my controller's good. Um, but yeah, to top it off, so then the drone just kept flying up and it flew into a friggin' tree. I don't know how it didn't friggin' just drop out of the sky, but it flew into the tree and it still somehow stayed there. And I still had no control. My controller kept turning off and dying. But luckily, it just flew down into my hands and I caught it. I don't know how the heck I got it back. I don't know why it was going that crazy, but <laughs> I'm just glad that I got it back, guys. Far out, that was a freaky moment. Oh, I'm never doing that again. Oh yeah, and to top it off, when I fell in the water, I lost my thugs. <laughs> so, I am pretty much just gonna go barefoot for the rest of the day, or until I can find some new thugs. I don't know, <laughs> but literally guys, this just sums up my life. Like, I have a person that has the best worst luck. Like, I have a lot of bad luck situations <laughs> throughout many, many times of my life. But for some, yeah, that bad situation always turns out kind of good. Like that, I got my drone back. <sighs> but. Welcome to my life, guys. <laughs> At least there's never a dull moment. <laughs> oh. Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to end the day there, guys. <laughs> it's far too much excitement. Um, I didn't really want to go around barefoot for the rest of the day as well, but I really wanted to get back and just get some rice to put my controller in because I don't know how good that will be. I don't know, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. But look at my drone, my drone is fine. Like. Not even a scratch after hitting that tree. So at least that's good. <laughs> but I will continue my day tomorrow exploring um, that north area. So I'll just see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.